Wind, wind, wind fast. Now, there you go. That's the way to do it right there. You figured that out. Good job. Oh. I'll get him next time. Get him next time. That was close. <laughs> hey, I got a friend of mine who gave me a call and he said, hey, I got a couple high school guys that would die to go fishing with Hank Parker. I said, well, I know Hank. We'll line that up because I love high school fishermen. You know, high school fishing is exploding and it is incredible for our industry. And plus, I've always wanted to recruit kids. So this is a perfect deal. So he said, all you gotta do is jump in your boat and head to Alabama. So I'm headed to Alabama to fish with a couple of guys from Auburn High School. It's gonna be exciting. You stay with me. I'm Hank Parker. He took it and started running. He got it. I didn't let him go very much because I don't want him to eat it. <laughs> Y'all want your picture made with this giant? <laughs> Y'all laughing at my fish. <laughs> Should be him. I see him. Wine, 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 fast, fast, fast. That was a big one. Keep it. That's okay. That's all right. Next time, just wind. Rocky. He choked it. wanted that He choked it. It's hard to get a good spectator. <laughs> Look at <laughs> You still jerking on slack line. Just wind down tight. They're gonna hold it good. Go right back in there. Go right after him. There you go. There we go. Ah, oh, he came off. Let me see your hooks. Point that thing at me. Oh my goodness. There lies the problem. Auburn High bass fishing team. Auburn High, hey, I got Spencer and Jones, and these guys actually competed, I believe, now I could be wrong, but I believe they competed on the high school team before they actually got to high school. These are some little guys with big hearts and big ability. Spencer and Jones and I have found us a little private water, and it's all about frog fishing. At least that's what we think. Oh, I should've still got now, a couple of things about frog fishing. One is you always fish frogs on braided line. You do not throw line with stretch. You need fire line or braid. You gotta put, you gotta either put a piece Once of you get that going, we're thinking that a popping frog, like this frog I have in my hand, it's got a little popping canal on the front. We're thinking these popping frogs are gonna be the bait of choice. I see yours. Oh man, you can't hook fish with them like that. That should help. Now, let me just tell you, if you take this frog out of the pack and you throw it just like it is, you're probably gonna miss 50% or more of your little strikes or bites. You're gonna miss him. What you have to do, is you have to take these pliers or a pair of pliers of some sort and you have to bend those hooks upward. Not to the point that it's gonna get hung up on all the grass and the lily pads, but where it's not going straight back. And it doesn't take a whole lot. Wine, 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 jerk. Now that's the way to jerk. Stay with him, stay with him. Yoo hoo! Now, if you'll see that hook now, instead of pointing back into the plastic, it's actually pointing up. Now, we've just improved our hookup ratio by a bunch. You look excited, Jones. It's gonna make all the difference in the world with the hook spin up. Pretty good. Pretty good one. Just getting started. You're just getting started. Catching a fish on a frog is different probably than most baits. 
What I like to do is if I'm working that frog and he hits it, I like to start winding fast, but keeping my rod pointed right at him. And as soon as that thing gets tight, I use that whole rod and I sweep and I give it a really hard hook set. And I'm using some wrist in addition to just pull it. So I'm snapping at the same time I'm pulling. And you get those hooks up there in the top of his mouth and you catch the fish. Hello, boys. If you don't do that, you'll miss that fish. Shoulders. Get him, John. Get him, John. Get him, John. So let's go over that again. Stiff rod. You want a stiff rod. Two, you want a line with no stretch. I like Berkeley braid. Uh, I like fire line. But I want a line that has no stretch. Stiff rod, no stretch. We're going to bend our hooks up. And we're going to set the hook hard by keeping a tight line with a full rod and using some wrist in our jerk. All that's important for catching fish on a frog. Is that a carp? That's a bass. I believe that's a bass. What do you think? I think so, too. I think that's a bass. Yep. I got lucky I got a hook in him and I got it in a bad place. That's the bad thing they're eating that frog. So as the morning went on, we started to do some different things. How about my old spin bug? Now, neither Spencer nor Jones had ever seen a little five and a half foot fister grip. This was really weird to them. Somebody's got one. Oh! This rod's weird because I'm trying to like do it how I usually do it with a longer one. Uh, look here, you got to fix your spinner bait now. That's 28,000 But uh, right we, we talked about how important this rod is on roll cast, and uh, I'm not sure I sold them on the idea. I think they still would look at each other behind my back and kind of snicker because that's something they had never seen. That was developed in my era, in my day when I was their age. This was the Cadillac of all rods and reels. And so times have changed, but let me tell you, it is not obsolete. It still has its place. But I caught me one about seven pounds on that little spinner bug, that little rod. So that was kind of fun in itself. Not bad at all. Pretty good one, I would say. What y'all think? Is that a carp? No, that's a garfish. Is that a gar? That's a giant. That's a giant. That's a giant bass. Is that what you call it? That is a football. Look at that. Ball. Look at that giant. Is that a bass? No. It's not. Mm. That what is, is it? huge. We're get it. The belly on that thing. Look at the belly. Kind of looks like a Parker. Hey, don't go away. These two whippersnappers are fixing to put it on me. All right. Here he goes. What are you doing back there? Do you have any more of these Let's see. What you got in your pockets? 50 bucks. Spinnerbait rental for $50, shoes, and a hat. Amazing what a seven pound bass would get a man. <laughs> Hank's show is brought to you in part by Ranger Boats. Still building legends one at a time. Mercury Marine, go boldly. Let me tell you, we are catching fish on a variety of baits. I heard that clip slip. Do we have figured ball. out that the smaller fish seem to be on the shoreline. We really thought we'd catch them good this morning, and we talked it up all last night. We're going to catch them uh, on the frogs out of that mat. And really, we started throwing spinner baits out, worms out, not fishing the shoreline, the structure. So I put on a, a Berkeley crankbait and a good one. second cast, just called a giant. Pretty good one. Pretty good one. Okay. That is a giant. That's a giant. That's a giant. Uh oh, came off. That is a giant. That's a tag fish. That fish has a tag in it, so we need to get the number off of it. Look at that. Jeez. All right, guys, we're going to do the old routine again. We're going to get our pitcher made a steel shot. Goodness. Look at that rascal. All right. 
How much do you think he weighs? Eight, nine. He's close uh, to ten. I don't know what he'll weigh. He'll weigh over nine. Ten? Yeah, he'll weigh over nine. Hey, buddies. All right, here we go. Here we go. Watch this. This is the greatest feeling in bass fishing. Take a big old nine or ten pound bass and let him go. Catch and release. Yo! Why don't y'all catch one? I'm trying. This portion of Hank's show is brought to you by Berkeley. Catch more fish. Yeti coolers built for the wild. Catch him. Do it, boy. We ended up fishing plastic worms. We fished jigs. We fish buzz baits, we fish spinner baits, we fish lipless crank baits. We, we fished a variety, 10 inch uh, power worms and crank baits. You know, I didn't have a crank bait that I needed. I needed a crank bait that run about eight feet deep. This is the crank bait that I actually ended up going to, which is a dredge, 17.5 dredge. And I really needed a square bill that would run eight to 10 feet deep. That's what I needed but this is what I had, and it's what I tied on. About the second cast, I caught a giant. <laughs> Look at that rascal. Woo, what you got? And I just kind of quit at that point that in time. I, I, I really wanted those boys to catch those big fish. And I was really glad. In the afternoon, Good those job. boys laid it on me. In the morning, I ended up catching the most fish by default. Didn't even really want to, but I did. Right. Good deal. In the afternoon, they yeah. wore me out. Man, who caught that fish? Sorry. Who caught we that We had so fish? much fun throughout the day, and we yes. fished with a lot of different methods, techniques, fished a lot of different water. We fished a couple of different private lakes, just pond hopping, so to speak. And man, we had an incredible day. You know, I love high school fishing and I love what it's doing and I love what it's doing for our sport. But these kids are so enthused. Both of my guys today are incredibly enthused with fishing. And I like that. We got Spencer and Jones and both of them absolutely love it. They're both 14 years old. Now, I used to be 14 years old. Can you believe that? It wasn't that long ago I was 14. Fishing in the rain, fishing in the rain. Oh, oh I got fish. Yoo-hoo, good one, good one. He's in there. Stay with fish. it, stay with it. There's your big fish of the day. Catch you up a little bit on what we've done. We have had a fabulous morning. We went in at lunch when we saw some real dark clouds and some possible thunder and lightning going on. So we went in, had lunch. We had thunder and lightning for probably an hour and a half or two hours, the downpour of rain. We came back, we fished in the rain for a little bit. We're just about on our last leg, wrapping it up on our day. You got him. You got him. All right, where's that cell phone? We've had a fabulous day. These boys have caught some giant bass. Catching them, boys. And we have had a lot of excitement. Good six and a half. So, we're kind of on the white flag lap, boys. That's the biggest fish I've ever caught in my life. <laughs> Woo! All right, put him back right there. He must right. just got off the bed. Nice fish. Good job, brother. Give me five. Hank's show is made possible in part by Luz. Feel the difference. And by Minn Kota. Soft science. Solar bath and Talon. Old Jones was kind of holding out on this morning on catching that big one, buddy. He came on strong this afternoon. Biggin, biggin, biggin. That's a biggin. Ooh, a big one. Oh. Stay with it. Stay with it. Stay with it. Stay with it. A big one. 
It's, 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 I think it's over 10. I think it's over 10. I think it's my PB. Over 10. He's over 10. He's a I had so much fun. These guys wore me out. They absolutely wore me out. Both those guys, Spencer and Jones, both caught great fish in the afternoon. You know, I caught that giant on that crankbait. That afternoon, Spencer caught one bigger than I caught on the crankbait. Uh, which was really, really, really cool. And he was so excited, yes. man. We got pictures of him. And as it worked out, oh. both Spencer and Jones oh. ended up at the end of our day with their personal best fish ever. Their personal best. And that was quite an accomplishment. We got it all on TV. But those two guys were a hoot, and the whole show was I'm going to take a couple of high school guys and they're going to learn some tricks from an old man that fished tournaments a long time ago. But I love their attitude. Their attitude was eager to learn, very respectful. They both bore a lot of humility, willing to learn. And I learned some things from them. So we all learned together. And at the end of the day, we left there great friends and better fishermen. No, you can't beat that deal. Oh, Man, I'm proud of it. That's all. The building, how much is in these ways? Ten? So I will be doing a high school fishing show from this point out. Nine, nine and a half. Nine and a half. Yeah. Oh, oh arm shaking. Down into the deep blue sea. <laughs> Spencer and Jones, man, what a what a trip this has been. I had about as much fun as you could have legally. And to watch those two young men and how much they enjoyed it, and to know as much about me as they knew, I, I was Thank flattered. You so much for taking us out here today. And we oh. had a ball and caught some honkers, boy. I mean, we caught some giants. So how much more fun can you have? I love high school fishing. So if you're a high school fisherman, keep it up. If you're thinking about getting on a high school fishing team, get on it, man. It's an awesome sport and it's a lot of fun. And to me, it was one of the most fun shows I've ever done in my whole life out of all these 30 plus years I've been doing this. So what a great time we had. Spencer and Jones catching them big giant fish, Alabama, man, awesome. Auburn High School. High school guys, we're going to figure out how to take somebody every year. It's going to be awesome. I hope you enjoyed the show today. Man, it was great for me. God bless you. I'll see you next week. I'm Hank Parker. And don't forget to visit us at hankparker.com the place for tips, giveaways, and more. The house needs painting, the grass needs mowing. Where's he at? Gone fishing.